We found pumpkin. Oh my god. It's time. <laughs> How do we Hello? That doesn't seem fair. Hello? Dude, he can't play the game. This is probably the wrong direction. I think GM is the other way. Alright, look, we can just play the spear. We have established this is good. It does seem fine. Let's we'll see that. Can we do this a different way? I mean, we could, but we can only do it in ways that, like, cost max health, yeah? Seems like that's the case. Yeah, I think we, like, half lose max health loses to use the sweatstone. Or wait, no, we can just do it like this. Yeah. Okay. Seems fine. We should add bonus stack to food sun. Yeah, doesn't really matter, yeah. Got a shield for next turn. Seems okay. Don't really want to slack our spear star, but most of the time you can power anyways, so. All good. Very nice. The other nice thing about finding molten spear is it lets you just buy every chill you see. Not that we're gonna do anything about that anyways, but it makes that much better. Imagine not taking bag of stones. Poor bag of stones, man. You see bag of stones like the best item in a video game. It is a shadow of its former self. I want to take this coal so bad, but having more heat actually matters so much. So I think we try and find space. Maybe. I don't know. Fuck it. Just give me a coal. Did find space. I'll spend two gold pan. Probably just buy that. Yeah, fuck it. We can just kill this, yeah? Seems fine. Need the card? Nah, no, that shit's a bait. Just do the math. It's terrible. Don't ever buy card shop. Bag of stones still give. Yeah, I want to play the bag of stones on the Berserker version. I think it'd be kind of cool. Play that instead of Mana Thirst. The problem is all the people that have like Moon Shield still give. You'd be really fucking sad against. <laughs> give them a shitload of Moon Shield procs. Also, yeah, card is actively bad for this build, by the way. Just to be clear, like it lowers your blueberry and uh, chili odds, which is both really, really bad. And it marginally increases your uh, sandpa odds. It is not good. It is okay if you have it on sale and you already have stuff you want. But card is actually bad for most builds. That is 100% correct. Card is almost always actively bad. Which card? Customer card. Both plot demand otherwise. It is complete trash. Do not ever click it unless you know exactly what you are doing. And even if you know exactly what you're doing, you've probably forgotten something. <laughs> that shit is really easy to screw yourself with. Yeah, four dollars to make your board worse and take up space and grief your shops. Insane. Lee bad item. <laughs> it's the end of that statement. Insanely bad item. Should kill this guy, right? It just takes a while. Not that long with Molten Spear. Molten Spear do kind of slap. There's more coal. Sounds good. One for one, use a card. When one does not care about rares or commons and only wants legendary godly epic or you can use it in like round one through three to uh, force uh, epic and stuff like that in your shop also improves your rare odds right it's so like a berserker on round one you know maybe you just like buy a customer card on sale roll four times with it find axe and you're good but usually always customer card is a buy from shop on sale roll as many times as you want and then sell it at the end of turn almost never should it go on your board if you're playing it seriously for more than one rounds that is This guy's got a pumpkin. Please don't pumpkin me, man. Wait, is this empty space or fire, by the way? Oh, no, it is only fire. Ah. This does not do anything. All good. It does not matter even a little bit. They are Reaper, therefore they automatically lose. You can tell how many times I have clicked uh, Molten Spear. <laughs> the fact that I don't know what its text is. It is pretty good, though, I will say. If you're trying to play this exact nonsense we're playing kind of down to buy the gems. Early game is so much better than last round, yeah. The Molten Spear is a little bit better. Slightly superior. Alright, does not matter. Max health is much better. It is only relevant versus leather armor. It is trash. Do not care about max stars. Damn, Chili Goob too strong. All good. Got a ruby. That's kind of good. 
I guess. I don't know. Is it good? It's like somewhat good. Where's stand pots? Also, where chili? This is chili. Seems good. Can also buy blueberry. There's more blueberry. Do we want that? It's also cheap space. Kind of down to sell this. Control more time. Probably should just try and move this over, right? This isn't actually doing anything. There we go. I mean, blueberry and chili is quite good. I mean, the stillbirt's also really good. Molten spear is insane versus stillbirts. It's also insane versus broom and blinds. I wonder if you count as missing for the purpose of the enemy broom. Whenever you uh, have a molten spear attack that misses. This is before a mess, right? Hmm. How the fuck do we lose? I'm just sitting here musing over mechanics. We just crit for 40 twice? Oh, yep. Yeah, that's what happened. Unlucky. Alright, are we actually clicking friendly fire again? I think we should try it again, yeah? Definitely worth trying. Experiment and see if it's better than Crusader, possibly. Particularly if you do not have a heart locked or something. There is a stand pods. Alright, get out of here. Have exactly more but plus stand pots. That seems good. G G. What does Pyro sometimes say when the round starts? I think it's just like Pyro. Or like Pyre. Pretty sure it's Pyre. That's what it sounds like to me at least. Like a funeral pyre. That kind of pyre. Could be this. God, it should just be like glove friendly fire and span, possibly. It's definitely speed friendly fire as much as possible. That's the only way we're gonna win. But also, like, the other reason to click Friendly Fire would be that it can allow you to win rounds like this that you otherwise, like, cannot ever, ever win with Crusader. Definitely just tempo mid-game is always the best option. Basically, no argument for doing anything else. Uh, certainly a very, very, very fast Friendly Fire. So do we ever care about this? It's definitely inconsequential after this rounds. Be kind of okay, honestly. <laughs> Maybe it's just by the fucking morb and just let go. I'm kind of down. Just send me. Just friendly fire him to death, surely, right? Okay, we're probably not friendly firing a double axe stuff. <laughs> yeah, probably not. That is not happening. All good. We do not expect to win. No problem. Alright, so now we can win. Place a rainbow gear and turn 12. That is fucked. That is super fucked. There's a heart. We do want hearts. We need more food first, though. I think we're definitely skipping out hearts. That is really fucked, though. Funnily enough, before early access, you almost never, ever, ever see them. Like, I went many months that ever queuing into a rainbow goob ever. In fact, I never queued into one until early access. Which should tell you a lot <laughs> about how rare that is. I think I might just roll here. Yeah. Okay. We'll stop. That is. Quite bad. I have only this food, but that is what we got. Probably gonna have to move friendly fire out of here. The suspicion is he might be better in mid game. Unclear if that is actually true. That is the suspicion. Where is our other best spot for this? Um, very unsure. Is Sea Pig by Pig better than Pyro? Uh, probably not. Probably not. That's my answer to that. <laughs> Probably is not better. Maybe it is have the friendly fire up here. Thoughts? Opinions? That seems okay now. Just have a turbo fast friendly fire. Have me a more trigger. And have the shield be the other more trigger. Seems okay now. Could be a little bit worse. Who wins? Big pan or big sword? Um, <laughs> depends. Hopefully it depends. I think we just sell pig and buy the cap. Seems okay. Found cryo. Excellent. We love cryo. That is our favorite matchup when we are trying to make our fucking shitty weapon before it pops off. All right, goodbye to your chill, sir. What up, hands will sort? What do you mean exactly? Very nice. 
We got a chili. That is the best possible hits. Excellent. All right, we do want this to be the banana. I'm definitely down for friendly fire to still be the more trigger here. That seems pretty damn good. All right, where chili? Need more chili. More blue is great. So I'm down. Where chili? That is more. I'm also down. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sounds really good, honestly. Super down. Where the fuck do we put the morb? Maybe we just can't get the morb right now, actually. Yeah, I probably can't, actually. Okay, we'll send it. Draconic is not the worst thing imaginable, but it's not very good. No thanks. This Berserk is so bad or boring for people. Is that one, no, why aren't any streamers playing it anymore? It's definitely just boring for me. That's why I don't play it. I thought it was really boring from the get-go, because the only good line is the blacks. And we're so close here. We're winning. Outscaling. Damn, nice. Hell yeah. But yeah, basically the, the problem with Berserker is that... Here's the thing, right? Like, Axe is a rare, okay? Also, we got a Chili Pog. Axe is a rare, okay? So what does that mean? That means that every game, you'll find Axe before you find anything else that's relevant, yeah? So that means that if you're playing seriously to win, that there is almost no chance that you are not finding Axe before you find some other line. And once you're in Axe, there's no reason to get out of Axe, right? Oh, that is a lot of morbs and a lot of blueberries. That seems pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, that's the main issue. It's just like, there's no reason to not be committing to Axe in almost every situation. It is just too strong. Something always sell this. You can combine that for sure. I'll just sell this. One banana and friendly. That is what we're currently trying, yeah. I think we should just like do this, yeah? Pretty sure that's the best setup we have right now. It's not the best thing imaginable, but it's it's pretty okay. It's also enough to get us some luck. Yeah, we're popping out very hard with this. Nice. Alright, well, that's pretty good. Very decent. Great stuff. Learned from the pig sensei? Hell yeah. I think we just want to buy this. We don't need the space that bad there, no? The guy's running an animal shelter. He is. He definitely is. I think we just say fuck it. Let's keep rolling. It's 2x2 two two, though. I love 2x2. Two two. I will take 2x2. Two two. Sure. Alright, we'll just buy this for memes. Hit go. Had more dogs? Do you actually have more dogs than we're in that picture? This is aesthetically pleasing. I like this. I guess I'll work on. You have three chilies in this matchup, and Friendly Fire I think is really, really good here for having less chilies. I think Crusader's just kind of useless shot. Like, why would we do that over Friendly Fire now? Is there a point? Like, Jenny more heat is just busted. We found Pumpkin! Oh my god, it's time. <laughs> how do we how do we get fucking pumpkin man? What? Hello? Streamer clients. Can I speak to the manager? Hello. How do we get this? Is this allowed? It's fucking insane. It's so good in this board. Is it even good? Yeah, it's really good. I mean I don't think it like necessarily wins us some matchups that we don't win otherwise, but it's fine. All good. We can play pumpkin. That's good. That is pog for me. Uh, I guess... I don't know why the hell I have a garlic there. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh wait, that's why. Right, right, because there's a morb there. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make sense then. Never mind. Right. Yeah, I mean, it is just like half a blueberry, so... Unlimited pumpkin stuns, yes indeed. Here, we'll give it some speed, Pog. Excellent. Send me. So that would cause pumpkin to hit? Yes, pumpkin is a food. Them is the plan. Is we proc our pumpkin a bajillion times and they get stunned? Why, wow, it's actually pumpkin though. Hello? That doesn't seem fair. Hello? Dude, he can't play the game. Oh my god, it's actually busted actually. What the? Look at his damage, dude. He didn't do anything. What the fuck? That don't seem right. <laughs> yeah, perma stunkin. <laughs> oh my god. That doesn't seem very fair. He did 49 damage. He can't even play. 
Standard streamer gameplay, true. This is our compensation for queuing in the triple fucking insta-kill shot. It's this. Gotta remember, we did low roll earlier. This is our high roll to balance it out. On behalf of the Backpack Gamers Union, we'd like to request you don't put these boards in the backpack pool. Thank you. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm sorry. I apologize. Let's return to title screen. Alright, all in favor of concede game, please raise your hands. We could not put this in the pool if you'd like to. Anyone opposed to conceding the game? Yeah, we're three for tacos. Unraise his hands. <laughs> Make them cry. I'm kind of dumb. It's in the pool. It is already in the pool, right? Like, what's the point? Probably. It's probably just already there, so why even bother? Might as well just go ahead and take the WNL. Alright, seems good. We have quite the board. Congratulations to the Gambling Schools of Andergaard. Excellent work. Put it in the survival pool now? Hell yeah. I like this unsuspecting peasant. Imagine not having a pumpkin. You fool. You learn the error of your ways. You get stunned, idiot. It's actually so broken. <laughs> it's like we have a hammer that we don't have to pay any stand for. Like, that ain't right. That ain't right at all. You just can't play. He even has a fucking cap. Well, the tape has eyes, me too. Me too. It's like committing a war crime must feel like, yeah. Yeah, I think so. This is definitely war crime status in backpack world. Uh, I guess there's not much point to not do that now, yeah? Since you have enough stuff. We see all the stuns. Uh, unfortunately that is not tracked. So no. If there were a way, I definitely would though. I think we might just buy this. Having a starting mana is not that bad anyways. Alright, well. Um, something something having a starting mana is not that bad anyways. Oh right, we do have one blueberry, don't we? Right. Oh, but this seems to be here because that. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't know that we can fix this. It's kind of the same thing. I guess it's like maybe slightly better. We could also just get more starting mana. Sure. See a spot for a Gucci bag? Oh, there's actually more than that. There's an entire extra line. I think we're just gonna keep rolling. Oh nice, that's a really good hit. Dope. More cap, more better. Excellent. We'll lock this for some res, maybe. I don't know. Fuck it. I'll just go. Have a chili at the handle? We don't have any that are not in use though. All of our chilies are currently in use for orb. Could have jinxed that you can, but it doesn't do anything. It's additive with heat, so it's not very good. It does barely anything on a board that has hundreds of heats. Like, basically, Jinx at max ramp is 20 heat, yeah? So, or 15 heat, I guess. Not very much. This is definitely things that are happening right now. <laughs> fucking stupid as hell, dude. Oh my god. This is very fair looking. Your mana isn't going below 16? Yeah, I know. <laughs> We must go even further beyond, though. It's the only way. How else do they know the glory of pumpkin? There we go. We did it. Alright, sick. We may have enough chili peppers shot. Maybe. I don't know. Thoughts? Oh, nice. Big stun res. Excellent. What, a pet still attack? No, it's it's like the same thing as you, even though it's a pet. This guy is not gonna have a good time, me thinks. He is looking a little dub. Nice. Very excellent. I think we're just gonna buy a shield and put this in it and call it a day. <laughs> I don't know what else there is to do, so we're just gonna buy this and hit go. <laughs> Happy that Pan is finally the broken thing? Honestly, me too. It pleases me. This one sparks joy. This guy is Omega Dub. Goodbye, sir. Get pumpkins. I fucking love that pumpkin is just busted as fuck in this board. Like, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? God, it's so stupid. <laughs> We're just gonna hit go. We don't need to make this thing stronger. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> they just can't do anything, man. It's so broken. <laughs> Literally perma stunned and we're perma ramping. Seems very fair and cool. Very fair and cool and balanced. <laughs> this guy actually can't act because he has some level of stun res, but yeah. <laughs> that seems cool. <laughs> Definitely a thing. Also, this looks sick with the fucking topaz eyes. That's awesome. Yeah, turns out stun locking your opponent is pretty good, it seems. I don't know. Just, uh, just thoughts, maybe. But that is everything for the day. 
Y'all are awesome. I just made a good chat. It's always fun to chat with y'all.